that's a bit hard to say. The, the question was, if we wind down the industrial complexes, shall we as a country still have enough uh, research potential and so on? It's, it's, it's not a question, if I may say so, that appeals to me very much because I can't see in this audience anyone who's able to wind down the industrial complex. <laughs> so what are we talking about? Purely, purely uh, fantasy. Fantasy. What we are talking, ought to be talking about is something quite different. There are in the Western world 15 million unemployed. They don't give strength to the Western world, they give weakness to the Western world. And an appropriate technology would be able to help to reabsorb them into the mainstream. There are, there are movements in the, in, in the Western world of a concentration of population, vast congestion in some places, enormous emptiness in another place. This is not strengthening the Western world, but weakening it. So we want a technology that uh, fits into the neglected regions so that there can be a more healthy distribution of the population, etc., etc. There are uh, tensions in, in, in our countries between very rich and very poor, and poverty of a kind which uh, is not blessed, which is misery, which is degrading. This is particularly striking to any European who visits the United States. There is a country with an income per head twice that of Western Europe. And you find a degrading kind of poverty which you don't find in Western Europe, except very rarely. Now this doesn't make the country strong, it makes it weak. So we want a technology that these gaps can be closed, or at least to some extent ameliorated. So not to worry. Uh, no, there's no one who can wind down the industrial military complex, unfortunately. If we could, we would. <laughs>